Well, tonight a powerful state senator has told 10 on your side he met with a woman now accused of perjury in sending an innocent man to prison. One week ago today, a Hampton judge vacated Jonathan Montgomery's sentence for a sexual assault and ordered him to be free because the accuser admitted she lied. Yesterday, we confronted Elizabeth Coast, who was in court on a perjury charge. Andy Fox is here now with what James City County Senator Tommy Norman is calling for. Andy. Tom, State Senator Norman is calling for mercy. He states that in this letter to State Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli. Norman writes, I have extreme dismay your position in the prerequisite for Jonathan Montgomery's release. Jonathan Montgomery's accuser, Elizabeth Coast, was referred to State Senator Tommy Norman. Norman is an experienced criminal attorney, and he told me he met with her, but would not say anything about what was discussed due to attorney-client privilege. What we do know, shortly after that meeting, Coast, who worked with the Hampton Police Department, confessed to a detective that she lied about a sexual assault, lied at the trial, and sent an innocent man to jail. And shortly after that, a judge vacated Montgomery's sentence and ordered him free. That's what you told the detective. That's what you told her. You've admitted to this. And all I want to know is, all Mr. Montgomery wants to know is, why? Why did you do this? But Montgomery is stuck in prison until he files a writ of actual innocence, along with court hearings, could take weeks. And knowing that, Senator Norman wrote to State Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli, considering this case involves the wrongful incarceration of an innocent man, I do not understand the apparently inflexibility of the position of the Office of the Attorney General. Cuccinelli's Director of Communication responded to that. One would assume the senator, a lawmaker, and an attorney knows this office doesn't leave legally have the flexibility to ignore a law passed by the General Assembly as he is suggesting. Senator Norman disagrees and thinks Cuccinelli can make things happen, writing, there are exigent circumstances which dictate that justice must be tempered with mercy. In the meantime, Jonathan Montgomery now sits seven full days in prison, considered an innocent man. Seven days now, Montgomery's public defender is now joining forces with the Mid-Atlantic Innocence Project to prepare the necessary court papers to get the hearing before the Court of Appeals. Once that is done, I am told there will be a fast track to get the hearing before a three-judge panel in Richmond that can then order the release of Jonathan Montgomery. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.